Hello, and welcome back to our channel. Today we are going to talk about environmental valuation, which is the process of assigning a monetary value to natural resources, ecosystems, and environmental goods and services. This is an important topic because it helps us understand the economic worth of the environment and its role in supporting human life and economic activities. In this video, we'll discuss the importance of environmental valuation, its methods, and its implications. Why is environmental valuation important? The environment provides numerous goods and services that are essential for human survival and economic activities. These include clean air and water, food, fuel, timber, and raw materials for manufacturing. The environment also regulates the climate, protects against natural disasters, supports biodiversity, and provides cultural and spiritual values. These benefits are often taken for granted, but they have economic value. Environmental valuation helps to quantify this value and incorporate it into decision-making processes. It enables policymakers, businesses, and individuals to make more informed choices that consider the environmental costs and benefits of their actions. Without environmental valuation, we risk making decisions that lead to the degradation of our environment and the loss of its benefits. Methods of Environmental Valuation There are several methods of environmental valuation, and each has its strengths and limitations. Some of the most common methods include Market-based valuation. This method uses market prices to determine the value of environmental goods and services. For example, the value of timber can be determined by its market price. This method works well for goods and services that have a well-defined market, but it doesn't account for non-market values, such as the value of biodiversity or cultural heritage. Contingent valuation. This method asks people how much they are willing to pay for an environmental good or service. For example, people may be asked how much they are willing to pay to protect a particular species. This method can capture non-market values, but it relies on people's willingness to pay, which may not reflect their actual behavior. Hedonic pricing. This method uses the prices of related goods to estimate the value of an environmental good or service. For example, the value of a house near a park can be estimated by comparing its price to the price of similar houses that are further away. This method can capture both market and non-market values, but it requires a large amount of data and assumes that all other factors that affect prices are constant. Benefit transfer. This method involves transferring estimates of the economic value of an environmental good or service from one context to another. For example, the value of a wetland in one region can be transferred to a similar wetland in another region. This method is useful when data is limited, but it may not capture the specific context of the new location. Implications of Environmental Valuation Environmental valuation has important implications for decision-making at all levels. For example, at the policy level, it can help to prioritize environmental protection measures and allocate resources effectively. At the business level, it can help companies to assess the environmental costs and benefits of their operations and make more sustainable choices. At the individual level, it can help people to make more informed decisions about their consumption and lifestyle choices. Environmental valuation can also help to promote environmental justice by recognizing the unequal distribution of environmental benefits and costs. For example, some communities may bear a disproportionate burden of pollution or may have limited access to green spaces. Environmental valuation can help to quantify these inequities and inform policies that address them. However, there are also some challenges and criticisms of environmental valuation. One criticism is that it reduces the environment to a commodity that can be bought and sold, rather than recognizing its intrinsic value. This can lead to a focus on economic growth at the expense of environmental protection. Another criticism is that it can be difficult to quantify some environmental goods. We hope you all enjoyed this video. For more videos subscribe the EcoFam. Thank you.